Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to show you how to take swelled up hard German paint with all these sort of marks in it um, back to a really nice condition where you can be proud of the car and it's going to be all glossy and we're going to do it in very quick time. What tooling are we using? We're using a forced rotation Flex XCE polisher. So the rotation that way is forced and driven, and the rotation that way is forced and driven. So no matter how much pressure you put down on the machine, you're not going to stall it. That helps. A free stick spinning machine, when you pressure into it, you can stall it out, then you'll only get the oscillation. So that allows us to work with the cut a little bit more. Okay, you can still do it on a free spinning DA. We are using the fantastic Rupes Wool, which is their light cutting pad or their medium cutting pad, okay? That for wool, normally you think of wool as a, as a cutting only tool because of the haze it introduces. This pad is phenomenal with the finish it can give for a wool pad. Now, we're gonna be using the Koch Kemi F506 abrasive, which has now been um, superseded, is it? with F6, so F5 we're using, it's gone to F6. I think this is still available, still a great polish. We're working wet, so wool pads are very thirsty, so you try and prime them. If you don't get the polish all over the pad on your first set, the drywall will create even more hazing. So when you're single staging, it's really important to prime out your first set on the pad, okay? And this is primed now. And then after that, we're gonna work quite wet and put in four strips of polish okay after the end of each set take a little brush we're using the rupes claw tool here and just whiz it up and fluff up the pad do it away from the car because you'll get a little bit of dusting coming out now we're going to do a simple two by two set here that hopefully you can see it might be a little bit dark never mind you get the idea um two by two so we're going to spread our polish as always do here as well so I'm breaking this product down into nine steps we're working reasonably wet wetter than you would do normally um, trying to keep away from the car but there's nothing there that's going to scratch the car <laughs> we spread the polisher out on speed one we crank up to speed five we're going to put a little bit of pressure down because we want to work the cut more and we're going to do four medium speed passes on medium arm speed with speed five on the machine. Go over the edge a little bit. 50% overlap. Batteries running low. Keep your back straight. Try not to polish that slave line. And polish around it. That's one pass. Keep speeding up because we're on camera. Normally keep maintaining your speed. I'm just speeding up. And then one more pass, that way. And then one more pass the other way. Fifty percent overlap. Do not speed up like I just did. Okay. Now let's take our cloth, pinch the four open sides with your thumb, and put that thumb side down. Lift over that way so that you've got control of the cloth. And then just rub in small circles. Gently. Okay, and then you flip your cloth. Buff, or if you want to inspect, I didn't do the pinch, did I? <laughs> and if you want to inspect, you can put a bit of panel wipe down. And I'm using this Gion Limonene. And then you'd get your torch you'd inspect your paintwork, which is now, I'm trying to get the right light so you can see everything. Let's find a scratch, because there will be one. When the camera struggles to find focus, let's go down, let's keep going, we'll, there we go, that's the bit I haven't polished, look. 
So here's all the unpolished stuff. There's the polished stuff. And look at what you get for just doing that. And I even broke the rules because I'm filming. And uh, I sped up my set, didn't I? Now, I mentioned the pad gets flattened out. So at the end of each set, take this away from the car. Then your fibers on your wall pad are free of polish ready to be primed with your four lines again you move on to your next two by two section repeat next one then work your way around the car you get the idea we have a mini polisher as well that we'll be using for tighter intricate areas um i've got about three hours to do this entire car it's a kalima day so we've got sand sahara sand coming up why is it so dark in here let's try and get some light there we go um so I'm working quickly, guys. You get the idea that, you know, um, we are talking the other day about it's down to you rather than the products, but I'll tell you what, this does half make a difference. <laughs> this does half make a difference, this wool pad. Works great, wool on the force rotation. Rupesery and flexery live together in perfect harmony. And Koch comes in as well. After I've done the whole car and degreased, I'm going to be going in with the Gion ceramic coating. Got my work cut, cut out today, guys. Take care. Quick video on how to polish. Any questions, let us know in the video, uh, in the comments. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.